This is Shadea. This is Shadesh. Welcome to the online Bible study brought to you by Grace TV. Here we serve bite-sized spiritual meals through Soul Food First. Please like and follow the Grace TV Facebook page. And please subscribe to the Grace TV YouTube channel. We hope you are ready. Please stand by. Season 3 of Soul Food First is about to be served! This is Pastor Dean Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food First. Today we will begin talking about the message of Paul or the message that Christ has given to the Apostle Paul. But before we'll continue, let us just think of these precious truths on the life and ministry of Paul. Number one, the conversion of Saul of Tarsus or Paul was one of the most significant events in the Bible. This account is recorded in Acts chapter 9 verses 1 down to verse 9. Number two, Saul's salvation marked the beginning of the unfolding of the mystery program that has been in place for some 2,000 years now. Number three, Paul wrote more New Testament books than any other author. He wrote 13 books uh, to be exact, that is from the book of Romans through the book of Philemon. Number four, most of the book of Acts chronicles Paul's salvation and ministry. It is very clear in Acts uh, chapters 9, then uh, chapters 13, all the way to chapter 28. Number five, Paul was the first church planter in the dispensation of grace. By the way, it is very interesting to know that in the past dispensation of the law or the dispensation of the Jewish program, there was no church planting ministry or church planting program. Everything was centered in Jerusalem. But in the dispensation of grace, the Apostle Paul planted churches in many places. Number six, Paul was raised up by God to receive a distinct message for the newly created body of Christ. Number seven, the Apostle Paul is different from that of the 12 apostles. The 12 apostles represent the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. And they would sit in the 12 thrones in the earthly kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Apostle Paul being one, he represents the one body. That is the church, the body of Christ. Now, let us begin talking about the message of the Apostle Paul. What is the message that Christ has given Apostle Paul to preach? Is it the same with the 12 apostles? Why Christ raised up Paul when in fact there were already 12 apostles with a gospel of the kingdom to preach? Now, before we will answer these questions, let us just go back a little bit and talk about the message and the ministry of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ so that we'll have a way of uh, comparing the ministry of the 12 apostles and Apostle Paul and the message of the kingdom and the message of grace. Letter A. The 12 apostles of Jesus Christ had been well taught in God's prophetic program. After Christ's resurrection, their eyes of understanding were even more enlightened. Now let's go to the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 44 down to verse 55. The Bible says, Then he said to them, to the disciples, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses 
and the prophets and psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend or understand the scriptures. Let it be that twelve apostles believed that Israel would be converted and then they will be born again. They understood that Christ was to return to earth and rule as Israel's king. They had the expectation that Israel's kingdom would be restored soon and that uh, that kingdom would be the vehicle through the, uh, the Gentile nations or that the Gentile nations will have the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ as the Christ, the Messiah, and the King. Let us see. The twelve apostles knew this plan and were anxiously awaiting its fulfillment. It is very clear in Acts chapter 1 verse 6 when the apostles asked about the coming kingdom of Christ. The Bible says, Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Now, this expectation that Christ will come and establish his kingdom soon is also evident in Matthew chapter 10, verse 23. The Bible says, When they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For, for assuredly, I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Jesus Christ is saying, you know, if you are persecuted in this city, you go to another city, and before you can go to all the cities of Israel, the Son of Man, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, will already come. And so you can see here a clear expectation that the kingdom will come very soon. Letter D, the 12 apostles work hard toward the conversion of Jerusalem, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and the risen Messiah to Israel. Acts chapter 3, verses 19 down to verse 26, the Bible says, Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. The, uh, and that he may send Jesus Christ who was preached to you before whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said to the fathers, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet now this is not fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ like me from your brethren him you shall hear in all things whatever he says to you and it shall be that every soul who will not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people yes and all the prophets from Samuel and those who follow as many as have spoken have also foretold these days. Verse 25. You are sons of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying to Abraham, And in your seed all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And then verse 26 says, To you first, God having raised up his servant Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. We can see the apostles preaching to the people of Israel and asking them to repent so that the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ will come. Now, when the persecution arose in Jerusalem, the believing Jews were scattered, but the twelve apostles bravely remained or stayed in Jerusalem firmly, committed themselves to God's prophetic plan. Acts chapter 8 verse 1, the Bible says, Now Saul was consenting to his death. At that time, a great persecution arose against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered throughout the regions of 
Judea and Samaria except the apostles. So the apostles remained in Jerusalem. Now remember that this Jerusalem was not the home of the 12 apostles. The 12 apostles, they were from Galilee. And it is very clear in Acts chapter uh, 1 verse 11, the Bible says, Who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Again, these people, the apostles, they were from Galilee, but they remain in Jerusalem because that's what Christ said that Jerusalem must be saved and then on and on to other parts of Israel. So they remain in Jerusalem because they knew the prophetic plan for Israel that Christ had given to them. The kingdom could not come and the blessings to the Gentiles could not be realized until Israel was converted beginning at Jerusalem and the 12 apostles understood this program very clearly. But we know that Israel as a nation remained in unbelief. The third and the final offer of the kingdom through the Holy Spirit was rejected. Israel rebelled against God and then the stone uh, Stephen, a man full of the Holy Spirit, to death. The nation of Israel, the Israelites, they rejected the offer of the kingdom for the third time. And so God had to set aside the nation of Israel and concluded her in unbelief. Now, In Romans chapter 11, we find that Israel is cut off. They fall, they are blinded, they are concluded by God, all in unbelief, and God set them aside. Now, that is the very reason why the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ could not come yet. Beloved, tune in next week as we uh, continue with this series. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food.